hey guys welcome back to angular 10 spring boot crude full stack application tutorial series in previous video we have created delete employee rest api in this video we are going to implement a delete employee functionality in angular application and basically we consume delete employee rest api in our angular application so in a employee list page we add a delete button in actions column once we click on delete button it will make a rest api call to delete a particular employee from the database well let's go ahead and let's first add a delete button to employees list page here inside actions column and then once we click on delete button it should make a delete employee rest api call let's head over to the visual studio code id and go to the employee list component.html and here we're going to add a button so we have already added a button that is update button similar to that let's add a button that is delete button and let's bind a click event to this button and here we have an event handler name that is delete employee and within a parenthesis we, we need to pass id that is employee id and then add some bootstrap css classes like button and then button hyphen danger give name to the button like delete here uh, remove this hyphen so this class is different and button hyphen danger class is different and also add some inline style here that is margin left 10 and let's save the file and let's go back to the browser so look at here now it it looking good right so look at here the putter uh, you know height is quite uh, high so let me uh, reduce the height of the putter so go to the styles.css and this is the height is 70 pixel let's go and let's give 40 all right and let's save the file and let's go back to the browser yeah here we go the height of the putter is reduced to now and it looks good right now once we click on delete button it should make a rest api call right for that let's go ahead and let's write a rest client code to make a rest api call so this uh, delete event handler we're gonna define in a employee list component here and it expects id of type number well so first we're gonna make a rest api call for that we are going to write, write a rest client code so inside a employee service we write the rest client code right here so first write a rest client code which make a delete employee rest api so let's go ahead and let's create a method like delete employee and then pass id to this method like id colon number followed by a colon and then observable and you can pass object as a type and then simply return this dot http client followed by call delete method so we are making a delete http request so let's call delete and backstick dollar within a curly braces just call the base url and followed by slash dollar and within a curly braces just pass the id it's pretty simple right and save the file and let's use this delete employee method inside employee list component so this is the delete event method you know uh, event handler right so this we have already bind in a button in employee list component here so once we click on this button delete button it will call delete employee event handler and this event, uh, delete employee event handler we have defined in employee list component inside a delete employee event handler we're gonna use this dot employee service and we call a delete employee method and just we pass the id 
and then we subscribe to this method as it returns observable and we can handle response asynchronously and handle the data here response data like this so after successful deletion we're gonna navigate to the list employee list page right for that i'm going to call get employees method it's pretty simple all right and this data we can simply log here all right now let's go ahead and let's test our delete employee functionality from the browser let's save all the files and let's go back to the browser and let's go ahead and let's delete one of the employee let's say prabhas so hit delete button yeah so prabhas employee is successfully deleted let me delete one more employee let me delete this ram employee yeah so ram employee is also successfully deleted let me delete one more employee john yeah here we go it means that our delete employee functionality is working as expected all right guys so far we have implemented create employee list employee update employee and delete employee in next video we'll implement view employee details functionality all right guys thanks for watching i will see you guys in next one